guys, it's Nikki. I'm here to share with you the latest mini album that I finished. This is a little paper bag mini and I used the really tiny celebrated bags from Michaels. This is the three and a half by six and three quarter size. And the cover is made with the Seven Gypsies book boards. And I, when I ordered these I actually didn't realize that I had the matching paper collection in my stash. This is the Lil collection. I love these papers. So that worked out really well. And for the binding, I used the trim that I had gotten from Walmart, and it kind of reminds me of burlap, but I guess it's really more like strands of twine strung together with some clear thread. But since it's so narrow, what I did was take two pieces of it and just stitch them together, which is kind of hard to see because this camera doesn't focus very well. But I just used some matching embroidery thread, and then I went ahead and stitched around the entire edge just to balance it out. And on the ends, this stuff will fray once it's cut, so I just used my new favorite adhesive, the Scotch Quick Dry. I had never heard of this stuff before seeing all of your videos on YouTube, and I love this stuff now. It's my favorite adhesive. I'm pretty sure I'm already almost through this bottle. So I just used that on the top and bottom, and then it also kind of gave me a better edge to be able to stitch onto. And I went over it with a little bit of Vintage Photo Distress Ink, which I used Throughout the whole album, I really wanted it just to be kind of old and grungy looking like it had been sitting around for a while, so. And on the back, I kept it pretty plain, except for this little tag just says handmade, and that's just to cover up a little gluing mishap. But that's all I did on the back. On the front, this little cluster of embellishments, this key is, I want to say recollections or making memories, I've had it for a while. And all of the paper is random little pieces of ephemera from all those packs I bought recently. And the bottle cap is off of one of my husband's beers. I think it was a Yingling, but I just, it was on the counter and I just thought it looked cool, so I snagged it. And I just bent the edges out with my pliers and beat up on it with a hammer a little bit to kind of rough it up. So that is pretty much it for the cover. On the inside cover, I kept it pretty simple, just took some of the paper from the collection and really tore it up, distressed it, put a little die cut that says, Dream it up, little one. And I stuck a tag in here, just a little piece of ephemera that has some graph paper on the back. You could use that for journaling. And, oh, I forgot to mention, because this album is so tiny, I decided I wanted to use it for my Instagram pictures, which, for anyone who doesn't know, it's a program for your phone that you can use to apply really cool filters to your pictures. You can make them, like, there's basic ones like sepia and black and white and just a lot of really cool effects that kind of make them look old and it turns your pictures into a square, so I decided since this was so small already, it'd be perfect for that. Because I really don't... I take a lot of random pictures and end up just playing with the program, and they're not pictures I would necessarily want to scrapbook, so I thought this would be a cool way to, you know, be able to print them out and keep them in a little album. So that's what this is going to be for. So what I did was pretty much the same formula for all the pages. I left this space here will fit a 3x3 three three photo. And the, this is the bottom of the paper bag, and I just left this as kind of a space for little notations on maybe when and where I took the picture, stuff like that. This is just a little die cut from one of those ephemera packs. And another little piece of ephemera here. I love this ephemera, so I just kind of stuck it in everywhere. And it's got graph on the back, so you could journal on that as well. And this little tag, or not tag, uh, clippy thing. <laughs> very, very professional term, clippy thing. I just made that with some jewelry wire that I have laying around. I kind of had a short foray into jewelry making and I've got all this wire and stuff left over, so I just made one of those. And this flips open, and there's another space for a 3x3 photo here. And I left the bottom of the bag as a little pocket, and I put a journaling tag. And these are from the My Mind's Eye Life Journey Collection. I forgot to include those in my crop chocolate haul because I had already used them. And I just put some more pattern paper on the back. And then back here is another space for another photo. And at the top of the paper bag, I left them open and I used, um, for these little tab things, <laughs> more professional terms, tab things, I just pulled apart the threads from this trim and used it to make these little tabs for my photo mats up at the top of the paper bag. So I think altogether this will hold 30 photos, and there's actually still room to do more photo mats, but I didn't want it to get super chunky, so that's that page. And like I said, pretty much the same layout on all the pages. Some space for journaling. This little metal piece says Expect Miracles. I've had that for a while, and I think it's making memories. And I made some little photo corners here. This is just cut off the corners of a little 
journaling die cut that I had from Kay and Company. I just love these papers. And it's going to be kind of sad, actually, to cover them up. And another flap, another space for a photo. And here what I did, this is a little ticket that I just got from Cat Scrappiness. And I just drew a line around the edge and stamped the word smile. And this little pin, it is similar to the Tim Holtz memo pins, but I don't have any of those, so I just took some of that jewelry wire and just kind of made my own. And it's got another journaling tag, paper on the back, and another space for a photo. And every page has one of these pull-out photo mats with more pattern paper. On this side, this just says the keepsake. It's a cutout from the paper collection. And this is an authentic Tim Holtz paper clip. I didn't make that one. And space for a photo. Another photo mat. Journaling card. And a photo mat. On this page, I've got just a couple of die cuts down here. These are these two are actually from the ephemera pack from they go with the butterfly garden collection. Really, really cool pieces in that pack. And another little die cut. And another clippy thing that I made. This is kind of like a spiral shaped one. I'm sorry for the lighting, it's really overcast today and it's making it even harder for this camera to focus. And another little die cut ephemera piece there. Journaling tag, space for a photo, and of course a photo mat. On this side I've got another one of those little metal embellishments. This one says simplify everything. Space for journaling, space for a photo, space for another photo, and I did another one of those tickets. This one says hello and just same thing, drew the line around the edge, kind of distressed it with the vintage photo, and made another one of my little imitation memo pins. Journaling tag and a photo mat. And on the last page, another actual Tim Holtz clip with a little piece of ephemera. Journaling tag and a photo mat. And that's the same image from the cover. And then on the back cover, again, kept it pretty simple. This is just some more of the paper, just dressed like the front cover. And this is a little library pocket that I also got from Cat Scrappiness. Super cute. I just put some pattern paper on that, as well as a little die cut that says cafe. And it's got a tiny little journaling tag in it with some of that graph paper on the back. And this is just a sort of little heart-shaped clip, another one of those homemade ones with my jewelry wire. You can see. I don't know if that's going to show up very well, but... And that is about it. Back to the back cover, which I've decided I really just like keeping my back covers plain for some reason, so didn't really do anything on the back. So that is my little paper bag vintage kind of mini, and this is going to be one of my entries into the Cat Scrappiness design team application. I'm starting to lose my train of thought. So thank you for watching, and I hope everyone is having a great Monday, and I hope everyone is going to have a great Thanksgiving, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!